what is up guys Stu here uh, this is incredibly different everything here uh, so I'll get into why I'm not in my usual space in a little while but essentially I haven't done a video in um, uh, three months if you do like watching my stuff you probably noticed that there wasn't any new stuff popping up in your sub feed and there are reasons for that I say it a lot but yeah I've, I've got to catch you guys up so I thought I'd just whack the camera on I'm in my bedroom not my filming room and we'll just we'll just have a little chat we'll have a little catch up and I'll let you guys also know what my plans are for this year for 2018 going onwards firstly though it's my room you guys haven't been in here before it's cute in here it's not usually this tidy I have tidied it up so it didn't just look like I was fucking stick in the dump living in a cave it, it's a bit nicer now I guess I gotta start with where have I been for the last three months because that might be something you guys want to know I don't know essentially quite a few different reasons um, I guess the biggest one of those being that I kind of lost out on a lot of time that I usually have to do these things I took a you could call it a promotion but essentially went properly full-time at work in the last couple of months which means I've basically got one or two days off a week rarely together so I don't really have as much time as I'd like to be doing this sort of stuff and particularly at Christmas through the festive period when it's super fucking busy at work especially in retail I get back I've got my time off and to be honest I don't really want to be standing up in front of a camera I tend to prioritize my time with just doing nothing really because it just feels nicer but also over Christmas as well I try and prioritize spending a lot more time with friends and loved ones which means that on the days I do get off I tend to be seeing my friends seeing my girlfriend and not really having time to stand up and do new videos so that's that's one part of the reason why there haven't really been many new videos there I'm, i guess next part was that i sort of ended up giving myself too much to do i had too many videos lined up ready to record and go that i just sort of ended up going into a little bit of a meltdown on every one of those and not wanting to do it if that makes much sense i don't know if any of you guys have had that before when you've got too much to do you just can't seem to tune in on any one of those little things and they just they just never get done they never get done and it's pooey and it's shit but it happened so in october i went to the bfi london film festival which was fucking amazing i absolutely loved it i had the time of my life and i saw arguably too many films um if that is such a thing but i was seeing like three or four films a day i came out of that at the end of october with something like 30 minimum 30 films to review and get out for you guys and i just didn't have the time really so i was prioritizing the videos i wanted to get out for you guys the big films that i knew you guys would want to see my thoughts on but after like a couple of weeks i was back to full-time work i really only had like a day or so a week if i wasn't seeing other people to sit down and just do these reviews and there was just there's just too many of them uh so i had like i still have got like 15 or 20 films that i haven't reviewed from the festival that i want to but i the longer you leave it without doing those, the less likely you are to want to do it. So, like, it'd be, like, two weeks, three weeks since I'd seen the film. Your thoughts kind of get a little bit stale on it. And I just, I didn't feel like I could get up and coherently explain what I thought about those films to you guys. Which was a real shame. Because I was so excited to get those all filmed. I was on a roll. I was filming them. And then suddenly I was back to work. Suddenly I didn't have enough time to do all the reviews and it all just backlogged and I just had too much stuff to do. And that led to something else which was that I just, I kind of just lost enthusiasm throughout the last couple of months to really get up and do any long videos. And I, it's a mixture of different things, those things I've spoken about already, but it's also just setting up the camera, little things like that, getting it already, editing it. I just didn't really feel like I wanted to get up and do it because the stuff I was chatting about I don't know I, I guess it wasn't as interesting to me because I'd left it so long since I've seen films and it felt to me like I was actively trying to rush out these reviews and that it wouldn't be as good for you guys so yeah I, I guess I kind of lost enthusiasm and then all of those things combined fucking snowballed roll they get bigger they bigger and then eventually after like two months I'm like hey I haven't done a video for a while I want to get up and do one I want to fucking spend my time making videos for you guys but when you come that long without doing videos, you do get sort of trapped into this kind of like, I'll oh, just, I'll leave it another day, I'll leave it another week. And that's what happened. And, and and here we are like three months later, it's fucking snowballed. And I know that isn't like crazy long. I don't even know if you guys have really missed my content, but it's felt weird. It's felt like I wanted to get up and talk about films. I'm seeing a lot of films. I haven't stopped seeing films and I want to talk about those to you guys, but I just haven't really found the time or the enthusiasm at this point to do it. 
if that makes much sense. Which is shitty, it is. Uh, I, I didn't enjoy not doing content for you guys. But at the same time, it has weirdly been quite nice to take a break. So it sort of ended up becoming this unannounced break from YouTube, which, uh, I mean, I say that, it sounds like I'm some fucking huge YouTuber. I'm not. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But um, I came into the new year and I was like, you know what? I've got to fucking start doing videos again. I, I can't leave this because it will just keep going and going. And then it will just be done and there will be nothing and everyone will forget about me and that will be shit. No, no one wants that. It that ain't fun for no one. So going onwards, I want to start making more content for you guys again. That is absolutely something I want to be doing. Hence why I'm just doing this video to get it out of the way. But I am still working full time. Um, and actually, I'm probably going to get a lot less time to do it than before in the coming months. Just because I'm planning, if things go right, to move out with my girlfriend into London at some point in March, springtime. Um, which means that obviously a lot of my time when I'm not working is going to be devoted to looking for places, sorting out places, and sorting out new jobs, new work in London. So I don't know how easily it's going to be to do a lot of reviews and videos for you guys, but I'm going to try. I really am going to try because it's felt weird not doing videos and I want to do it again. But that's where I guess you guys come in because, um, I mean, I've got a lot of fucking reviews to get out for you guys for films I've seen that I haven't done. From the film festival and that i'm seeing at the moment i mean a lot um and i just i absolutely don't have the time to do big full reviews on each of those films so i don't know whether you guys want to see those or whether you're happy for me just to kind of call it a clean slate and start from here onwards with whatever new films i'm seeing but there are films actually that i saw in the film festival that will be in my best of the year list that i want to get full reviews out for you guys so i may just lump those together in like a small brief little catch-up video with a few in there like three or four films per video so let me know if you guys do want to see something like that that might be the best way to go about it i think just doing small reviews within little videos of those films i missed but also going into 2018 and something that i think is starting to get me a little bit more enthusiastic about making videos again is that i just kind of want to change things up a little bit and i don't necessarily mean that in terms of content although i might do i'll talk to you in a little bit about that i mainly mean literally just like changing things up in terms of the way things look changing the room I film in, maybe moving into here, I don't know. I, I quite like this as a background. It's a little bit more simplistic than my usual one, which is just fucking poster, 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 poster. There's too much content in the background. It's blurry anyway. Can't see what it is. I'm just rambling at this point. I need to stop. But yeah, the room I usually film in um, is kind of just, I've left it for like three months. It's kind of gone a little bit wild in there. I mean, not really. There's not bushes and like fucking animals in there roaming around vultures picking shit up it, it's it's still a, it's a nice room <laughs> i just want to change it really it'd just be nice so i'm thinking of stripping it all down getting frames i've got some posters some little bits and bobs that i want to get up on the wall and just making it look a little bit more simple so that's something i'm working on that's a little project so i won't be filming in there for a little while i'll probably just be here for the time being doing a couple of videos here but i will be changing that background but also in terms of changing things up content wise there's a couple of things i have to address going into 2018 um, and that is that I guess I kind of at the end of 2017 started to feel like I wanted to do so many different new things on a channel that I went for them did a couple of videos and then never really committed to it um, on those things so there's a lot of things up in the air that I'm not sure whether I want to carry on doing or I'm gonna have to stop um, so obviously I will continue reviewing films that's the main thing I do here chatting about films um, but there's things like uh, the quest for regret flicks I started with my brother last year we did a couple of episodes of that I really fucking love doing that and I and I actually watch those videos and I really enjoy it I don't know I'm not afraid to say it. I watch my own videos sometimes and I and I laugh at them those were some of the most fun things we've done and we're really keen to carry on doing that so that's something that I think I'm gonna carry on doing on the channel but it will be much 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 less frequent so it'll be the sort of occasional drop of the quest for regret flicks on here it won't be a regular uh, sort of like fortnightly thing like we originally wanted it to be just because it takes so long we both have to line up i have to have essentially two days off so i can drink and edit and film this stuff on one night and then have it going the next day without working um so they'll be less frequent but i do want to carry those on so that's something that i think will stay on the channel but we may have to evaluate that in the coming months if there is just no time for it speed reviews is something i've had to look at um uh because that takes a lot of time those are the videos that take the longest to edit and do on the channel so it's again one of those things where i need like a couple of days off really in a row to be able to film it and edit it and get it uploaded because my internet's so terrible 
But it's also one of the things on the channel which I know you guys enjoy the most, and I certainly enjoy doing the most, just in terms of getting reviews out for films that I wouldn't necessarily review, or smaller things from the past that I haven't had a chance to review that you guys want to see about. I love doing those speed reviews for that reason, and I think that's why you guys enjoy it too. So I'm not going to get rid of speed reviews on the channel, but obviously, last year I was like, yeah, it's been a while because I didn't have time, but it's coming back, and then it never came back because I never got the time to do it. Um, so I really truthfully don't know when I will get the time to carry on speed reviews. I hope it's soon and I have no idea how frequent it's going to be, but I don't want to stop doing that. So I'm going to try and over the next like three or four months film as many as I can. And then when it comes to like halfway through the year, just have a bunch ready to go so that they're coming out regularly for you guys. I'm going to try. I don't know how well that will go, but we'll see. So speed reviews, quest for regret flicks, things I want to carry on doing, but will get less frequent depending on how much time I have got. But also stuff that I really want to be doing uh, that I haven't already done and stuff that I want to be doing that I'm not sure I can carry on doing. And um, so I would love, love, love to get into doing a few more video essays. I kind of dip my foot into the shallow end of that one with the whaling explanation. Which I was, I had a lot of fun doing that. It's not the best video, it's not the best essay, um, but I really enjoyed it. It was a good way of testing my editing skills. And I think you guys really enjoyed it as well. There are a lot of people on there who uh, don't like the fact that I talk too much, um, which is weird because um, I look at my channel name. But yeah, it's quite mixed for that one in a funny way. Just go and have a look at the comments in that video. It's quite fun. I do it regularly. There's some interesting stuff there. But it'd be cool to do. So let me know if you enjoyed that and you want to see more of those. That'd be cool. Also, something that I started dabbling in at the end of 2017 uh, was steelbook content. Um, so you guys know I like buying steelbooks. I've got a load on a shelf just behind you there. I'm not going to twist it around. I'm just going to keep teasing you on that one because I like doing that. It's fun. But no, I'm buying a lot of steelbooks and Blu-rays. I'd love to carry on doing that content. So that's something I think I'm going to carry on every now and then. In fact, I've got a few I want to do now. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to start going into that content, like stuff I've bought, stuff I want to be showing you guys, uh, just because it takes up time outside of reviews and my time is very limited at the moment, as I've explained. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. That's something I'd like to carry on doing. And finally, God, this has been a bit of a long video, hasn't it? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I was <laughs> I put this up like, I'll just get the camera going and it'll be like five minutes chatting and then I'll, I'll just upload that. No, it's been 19 minutes. But yeah, finally, really quickly, I have got a best of the year coming up very soon. Usually I leave it to the end of January because there are release differences in the UK versus US and I like to see a lot more stuff before I do it that came out in the US last year. I actually saw a, well, everything in my top 10 last year, so I could have done it a lot earlier, but I was holding out just to see if anything popped back in. It didn't, but it is ready to go. I'm ready to film that, so I'll probably get that up for you guys in the next week or so. Look forward to that. Very excited to see that. And I'm also probably going to do something I haven't done before, which is like a list of stuff that i've seen that has yet to come out that will be coming out in 2018 that i think you guys would be excited about and just going through some stuff that you should be anticipating in 2018 that i've already seen some like indie gems stuff you might not have heard of that'd be cool that's something i want to be doing as well so new content coming very soon will be my top 10 of the year and some stuff to be excited about for 2018 i'm not going to do a worst of the year i haven't really done that before i've seen a lot more bad films this year god i have and there have been some bad ones <laughs> But I don't know uh, if I can really be asked to put the time in for a top 10 worst of the year. It feels incredibly negative. But that is really probably it, I think. I say probably because there's going to be something that sparks in my head in a minute that's like, oh, I should have told you about that. But at the moment, yeah, that's everything I needed to catch you guys up on. Sorry that this was such a long video. Um, well, I'm not sorry, actually. I needed to tell you guys about that. So you've either sat through it or you haven't. I don't... I don't mind which one of those you are. I'm just happy that you watched it in the first place. But yeah, thank you for sticking with me through this long break that I've accidentally ended up having. New content coming soon. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about the stuff I've just chatted about. We'll have a little discussion there. It'll be nice. Um, I'm probably going to turn the camera off and go and just sort of cry for a bit until Call Me By Your Name comes out on Blu-ray. Because that's pretty much all I've been doing at the moment. Just waiting for that film to come out on Blu-ray. It's going to be a while. So that's a lot more tears to be shedding. Uh, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. I'll see you guys soon for some new content, which may or may not be terrible. Because um, I'm a little bit stale. I've been out of it for a while. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Probably, probably not very well. I'm just going to turn you off. See you later.